Even when we suffer God's wrath for our rebellion, we can still appeal to His love as we patiently await His mercy. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we see in the book of Lamentations in the Bible what it looks like when God's wrath falls upon a rebellious city of Jerusalem and nation of Israel. Lamentations 4, 5, here was a people who were feasting on dainty food and were now perishing in the streets from hunger. Verse 12, even the kings of the earth at that time did not believe, nor the inhabitants of the earth believe, that the enemy could enter the gates of Jerusalem. Verse 13 explains this happened because of the sins of the false prophets and iniquities of her priests in verse 22. The Lord inspects and punishes our hidden sin. This all resulted in Lamentations 1 verse 1. A lonely and solitude city of Jerusalem, once full of people who was once great among the nations, was now like a widow. All her friends have become her enemies. Verse 5, her adversaries now rule over her. The Lord has afflicted her with the multitude of his, for the multitude of her transgressions. Verse 12, the Lord afflicted her with sorrow in the day of his fierce anger. Verse 13, he made her hopelessly miserable all the day long. Verse 14, the Lord delivered her into the hands of those she was unable to defeat. Why? Verse 18, the Lord is righteous and Jerusalem rebelled against God's commandments. Verse 20, she grievously rebelled and therefore became distressed, disturbed, and unable to rest. Verse 21, the Lord was no longer her comforter. Lamentations 2.1, the Lord covered her with a cloud of his anger. Verse 4, he poured out his wrath like fire. Verse 5, in fact, the Lord destroyed the nation of Israel. Despite this destruction, they are told in verse 19, Arise, cry out in the night, pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward him and surrender for the lives of the little children who are dying from hunger, appealing to God's mercy. After all, in the middle of all the ruin, Lamentations 3, 21 through 22, it is because of the Lord's mercy and love all the people were not destroyed, because his compassion does not fail. Verse 23, his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Verse 24, despite this calamity, we are urged to still hope in the Lord and wait expectantly for him to help us. Verse 25, after all, the Lord has, the Lord historically has been good and those who wait hopefully and expectantly for him. Words of encouragement. The thing the Lord wants us to remember is that no matter how bad things seems to get, no seem to get, Lamentations 3, verse 40 through 41, we are to test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Verse 41, lift up our hands and surrender. Pray to our God in heaven. Verse 32, though the Lord causes grief to the rebellious, he is moved by compassion according to his loving kindness and tender mercy. Have a great day.